what would you say to a young actor who came up to you in a in a, a play and said, "Bill, help me. I'm lost." How could you help that actor? Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's tricky because I've done it. Uh, Go to the person who's giving you the trouble, be it the director or whomever, confront them. Um, I did it with Michael Langham years ago. I can't remember the production now, the part I was playing, but during an afternoon rehearsal, he said something diabolical to me. So I went home and packed my things and called John Hayes, the company manager, and said, I'm leaving. He said, Bill, you can't. I said, I can indeed. The car is packed. I'm on my way back to Toronto. I'm enduring no more insults from Langham. He said, well, Bill, I'm going to have to call Michael and tell him. I said, do by all means, because I'm gone. I'm out of here. So he called back a few moments later, and he said, Michael is desolate to hear that you're leaving the company. He wondered if you'd be good enough to drop by and say goodbye to him. So I thought, well, all right. <laughs> <laughs> so I went to the house he was living in on Valentine Avenue and came in. Michael greeted me. He had a great resemblance to Edward VIII when he was being his most charming. Right. He came in and said, Bill, darling, please sit there. I think that's the most comfortable chair. I'll get you a drink. <laughs> Would scotch be all right? I said, yes. <laughs> you take it with ice, don't you? That's a reference to the fact that I'm an American. An Englishman would never have ice in his scotch. I said, yes, that would be very nice. He continued in Spain for 15 or 20 minutes, being so utterly charming, that I thought, what the hell am I doing here? <laughs> In other words, he totally disarmed me. So when he finally said, Bill, why were you so upset this afternoon? I said, well, you know what you said to me. He said, no, no, what did I say? And I repeated it. <laughs> and he smiled and said, oh, dear boy, surely you can take a joke. I knew he wasn't joking for one moment, mm -hmm. but he had displayed a side of himself that I had not previously seen, and I thought, he's such a gentleman, he's such a gifted person, stop scrabbling over a small incident. But that's my advice. When you're having trouble under direction, and under Hirsch, you could have a lot of trouble. <laughs> Fortunately, I got along with him very well, simply because I listened to his stories of his escape from mm -hmm. Poland. Mm 